I'm Kelly Hurley. I'm Courtney Hurley. And we're women's at Bayists and fencers for the U.S. team going to Tokyo Olympics this summer. She's the best. She's the best. Oh, okay, we're both, we're both the best. <laughs> <laughs> we make each other better. I would say it's obviously made us very close. We are closer than any other siblings I've ever known. Uh, our family also, our parents, all super close. So fencing's definitely kept us very close as a family. Yeah, I mean, at family dinners, you know, we eat, breathe, and sleep fencing. So that's bound to bring some people, you know, close together. And I, I don't know many families that are this involved in a sport or each other's lives, each other's lives <laughs> in general. So definitely, has fencing brought us close together as sisters? Definitely. I mean, I can't, I, I can't imagine our relationship otherwise, but I'm happy I don't have to. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we've already done two Olympics together, and um, just being on that team together is the most amazing feeling to represent the U.S. on the same team fighting uh, side by side. So as well as getting a medal together in London, that, I mean, you can't beat that you feeling. Can't, you cannot beat that feeling. So we're hoping to recreate that feeling. Uh, you know, I'm okay with bronze, but, you know. <laughs> any medal. Any but medal. We're going <laughs> for gold and uh, no. I'll settle for bronze. But. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, this will actually be one of our first Olympics that we are walking the opening ceremonies together. We... In London, we couldn't do it together because of rules. And then in Rio, we were fencing the next day. And so we decided not to walk uh, the opening ceremonies. But this time, we're going to walk. Even though we fence the next day, we decided we're going to walk. You know, it might be one of our, you know, last Olympics, maybe. No, don't know yet. So we're making sure we're going to walk together. And so that's really exciting. It'll be our first Olympics to, to walk together. So I think because, especially because we're getting, I mean, we're not old, but in fencing, you know, we're getting up there. Uh, more, most importantly to us, I think now is rest. Uh, I mean, I can't emphasize how much, how important rest is now, especially the older you get. Uh, and not just physical. Yeah, mental rest, everything. Yeah, rest. And in uh, and, and smaller workouts, very intense, short workouts. And so we're not really working out for hours a day like we used to do when we were younger. It's now it's more efficient. It's working smarter, not harder. Um, so I think that is how we are. I'm, I'm trying to keep healthy this. this yeah, that's, that's how we're approaching this Olympics is just stay healthy. And that rest is key. That's very important. Yeah. Um, Guilty pleasure. Donuts? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we... <laughs> Desserts? <laughs> um, yeah, uh, a guilty pleasure, I mean, for me, is probably just sitting uh, hours on end watching, like, anime. <laughs> it's not that exciting, but, like, it's a time that I get to get to myself, and I get to, you know, relax and recover and watch something that I, I love, and uh, I usually do it, in, like, in a bathtub. So I'm, like, I'm killing two birds with one stone. I'm, like, recovering my body, and I'm enjoying something, so. Mine is just playing video games. I like to play <laughs> video games. So it's, uh, I'm not so much recovering <laughs> in that instance, but it's mentally. I need it to like, you know, distract from, you know, fencing. <laughs> All the grueling workouts and yeah. to think about something else. Uh, I think for me personally, probably for everybody, I would say just amount of, confidence going into my match, just knowing that I can do it, believing in myself, believing in the work that I've done. Um, just making sure that I remember that I can do it. And um, I'm as good as everybody else out there, if not, you know, even better than a solid chunk of it, if not everyone on any given day. I mean, so I think that's important is just to keep my head in the right place. Because um, after all, like everyone is like juggling with stress and fear and you know, it's a mess of emotion out there. So to try and stay like clear headed and just remember that I love the sport and that I've worked hard and that I have every right to, you know, win the Olympics if I really put my mind to it. So I honestly want to just have, I mean, 
I want to win, obviously, but I think fun, having fun is the good route to go there. You're having fun and laughing, and I think that'll play into our, how well we're fencing and make us fence better. So I'm hoping that, you know, this is going to be a fun experience. Yes, things seem to go well when we're, like, enjoying ourselves. So that, that's definitely important, is, like, making sure to have fun in the moment. Uh, I, because we are in fencing is such an individual sport, so be, having somebody in your corner, like, in your corner, like one hundred percent, is something I think nobody else really has gets to experience. Yeah, gets to experience. So I think that's a huge positive for us that we have somebody rooting for us no matter what um, with us all the time. So I think that's a huge positive. Yeah, in, in such an individual sport, it can get pretty lonely, and uh, I think it's one of the main reasons why. I, I think it's at least 50% of the reason why a lot of people, they quit after college because they just don't have that support. It's just not there anymore. Um, whereas Courtney and I, you know, were some of the oldest fencers right now currently in women's epee. I think a big reason for that is that we're in each other's corner and that we 100% support each other and we're always there for each other. And having that, like, you know, that family support is indescribable. It's, it's the reason why we've been going for as long as we have, I think. Obviously, we have, you know, it's less and less, I feel like, we have, you know, things that annoy each other when we're, you know, giving each other advice or something, but it, overall, there's, it's not a big deal at all. Yeah, and we've just gotten to the point where we can move past any time. Yeah, we'll have a little conversation, and then it'll be literally done in seconds, so. Yeah, sometimes it, like, freaks our teammates out. <laughs> Because we'll have just, like, our sisterly argument on the side, you know, like, we'll just be on our own, like, we'll be in the group, and then the two of us are, like, bickering for, like, 10 seconds, maybe, max, and our teammates are just, like, <laughs> like, just, like, just wait a second, we're yeah, almost just, done, we're <laughs> almost done, we just have to finish this bicker, <laughs> and we'll be back. <laughs> Some people just don't understand what it's like to have a sibling. Most people don't. In a sport, yeah. Most people don't. Well, I, I mean, fencing, you know, how long we've been doing this for? Over two decades, and it's become a part of our, our existence at this point. And it's taught us so many lessons. I mean, just being in a sport in general, I think it teaches you, you know, how, how to deal with tough situations, hardships. Um, Perseverance, stress. Yeah, um, on there's so many life lives. lessons that you can take out of doing a sport for this long. Um, so 100% like dealing with the sport for as long as we have has shaped us as people. And it definitely goes into other places of our life. Like I'm in medical school and I'm determined to succeed. And I know that if I'm determined to succeed, I will succeed because I've done it in fencing. And it's just, it, it's easy to bring those lessons into like your actual life. So uh, fencing has done so much for us and uh, you know it's just it's great <laughs> I honestly don't know about all these people that are inspired and then I run into them and they're like oh my god I've looked up to you for whatever and I'm like oh wow <laughs> that's awesome I mean I you know I more and more I'm recently been posted on social media and people have been reaching out more and more saying like how much we inspire them. And it's, I, it, I never get, it never gets old hearing that. We, we really don't hear it that much. So I'm, I really, you know, yeah, we're so busy, you know, doing the sport with our head in, in, in a hole that uh, we don't really see a lot of the things going on around behind us or around us. And um, I don't see myself as like, you know, somebody to look up to. I, I just, I'm just doing what I'm doing. Um, and then when somebody comes up and tells me like they've looked up to me for so long, I'm just like, really? Like, wow, I'm so happy I could be that for you. I, I, it's a super huge honor. And uh, I'm just really not consciously aware of the effect that I've had on people. Um, so it's amazing to hear. And when I do hear it, I get reminded of it. And I'm like, wow, I really I hope, <laughs> I hope I'm a, a good role model for these people. I haven't even like you know, <laughs> thought about it, but uh, it's amazing to, to know that I've inspired people. Yeah. 
Thank you, Shackley. Thank you for everything I mean, from the bottom of our hearts. You've been there for us when you know, not many have in our darkest times and in our highest times. So it's the Shackley family. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much for all support.